We have the calm before the storm in Wildwood. We have some people out on the beach here. And in fact, the Wildwood Beach is perfect for social distancing because it's just so darn wide, which is great for all the masses of people we usually have here at the Jersey Shore. And we have a good amount of sunshine in Wildwood as well. And that will continue for the afternoon, but all attention turns towards this low pressure system just off the North Carolina coast. This could become Fay. The National Hurricane Center has an 80% chance of this turning into a tropical depression or a tropical storm. The hurricane hunters are out investigating it this afternoon. Water temperatures will be warm enough to support tropical development, at least initially. Delaware Bay is in the 80s, even though we're showing 70s here on this map. But I point that out because there is the possibility that this low pressure system goes into the Delaware Bay where it could maintain or even strengthen just a little bit. But we're talking about a low-end tropical storm at worst here. This dashed orange line, well, that's about the tropical development region. And what I mean by that is that's where water temperatures are 78 degrees plus. That's what you want when you're talking about a tropical storm or depression developing. So it's a short runway to get to that kind of tropical stage based on the water temperatures alone and something we'll monitor into the afternoon. Otherwise, it is a sticky and hot afternoon for some places well inland, otherwise more seasonable as you get closer to the coast on that easterly wind. Water temperatures are warm, as we talked about. Surf heights are low. That will change for tomorrow. The rip current risk is a moderate. So make sure to swim where there are lifeguards. And then tomorrow, we're talking about dangerous rip currents. You do not want to be in the water. We'll be clouding up overnight. Eventually, we'll turn cloudy. Eventually, we will rain. And when it rains, it will pour. There will be tropical downpours throughout the day on Friday. We're expecting areas of roadway flooding. There'll be some stiff winds as well. But we'll go back to the rain because as long as you're out of the water, that will be our biggest threat for the day tomorrow. We have a high risk of flooding rains. And if you think back to Monday, where we saw some flooding issues, the same could be said for tomorrow. So here is our future radar. This is the Canadian model. We have the time to date for you above us here. Rain starts 3 to 6 a.m. That low pressure system is going to be close. It could make landfall. And if it does, and if it's a tropical system, it's our first landfalling tropical system since Irene. In 2011 here, Sandy was a post-tropical cyclone when it made landfall here. Now, here's what we still need to figure out. How heavy will the rain be? There will be some areas in South Jersey that gets three or four or five inches, but will we get the widespread three to five inches? That's where you're seeing those dark reds and those yellows that are in different spots on this map. These are a couple different model runs. Look for those yellows. They're kind of all over the map. We still need to figure that out, and we will as we get into tonight. The winds, gusty, but we've seen worse before. Looking for some isolated areas of power outages, as well as isolated areas of tree limbs down. Not a big deal for us here. The coastal flooding is good until we get to the Friday afternoon high tide. Then we'll expect just minor flood stage, nuisance flooding, and it could linger into Saturday morning in the, in the uh, Barnegat Bay, as well as some of the back bays. So move your cars if you need to, but overall, we're not talking about big impacts there. Let's look what happens after Friday. Saturday and Sunday are your typical summer days. Morning sunshine, afternoon clouds, and we'll get some thunderstorms that will rumble through. I think Saturday has more coverage of the storms than Sunday. Sunday. Sunday will be a windy day from the west southwest. Still remaining that thunderstorm threat that will carry over into Monday and Tuesday. And then Wednesday, we look to be drier here in South Jersey. If you go to our website at pressofac.com slash weather, we are talking more about this system. We have everything you need to know. You can follow me on social media for the latest here as we talk about either this coastal storm or maybe a tropical storm here in South Jersey.